Hello guys, Ivan here and I'm so excited to show you this exclusive footage of the prototype of the all-new C-Class, so this is W206, the all-new generation of the C-Class 2022 and look at this, how fantastic this looks. The world premiere will be on the February 23rd, so in less than two weeks, so I'm super excited to show you this prototype and also tell you a lot of technical information so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss any new videos so this car has a classic real wheel drive design so the length of this car is 4.75 meters it is longer 65 millimeters than the predecessor previous generation the wheelbase is 30 millimeters longer in the rear overhang is 25 millimeters longer while the front overhang 10 millimeters so the power dumps on the bonnet are now standard across the range the car has wider front track for more stability and this car has inspiration from the s-class like it's usual also in the previous generation you can see the similarities you could see that the c-class was inspired by the s-class the new c-class now gets 2.5 degree rear axle steering system and this is primarily intended to ensure a sporty and dynamic characteristics while driving and focus is on the stability. The turning circle is also shortened by 40 centimeters to 2.6 meters. So talking about the engines, all of these engines are now four cylinders with 48 volt electrical architecture. All of the engines are now mild hybrid four cylinder units. So in terms of the engines, we have the base petrol engine, which is C180, 170 horsepower. Then we have C200, which is a 203 horsepower. This engine variant has also optional formatic. And at the launch, the top engine variant will be C300, 2.0 liter, M264 engine. This comes standard with the formatic and the power is 258 horsepower, 400 newton meters, the torque, also combined with ISG, internet is starter generated to give you boost, 22 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque, and also has overboost feature, 30 horsepower for 30 seconds under full throttle input acceleration. So this is a new feature. And the C300 will also get a sport sound in the interior. Launch later in the fall, we will see also plug-in hybrids, C300E and C300DE. So petrol and diesel plug-in hybrid models. And the battery capacity is now almost doubled to 25.4 kilowatt hours. That means the electric only the range is more than 100 kilometers or 62 miles. All engines are now coupled with 9G Tronic automatic gearbox and the drag coefficient is now only 0.24 CD. So this has a really great aerodynamics. The suspension setup has a similar double wishbone front and multi-link rear to that of the old C-Class, although the option of air springs is now reserved for the hybrid models. So air suspension for hybrid models and you will get adjustable suspension as an option for other models. In terms of the AMG line package, the car is now lowered 10 millimeters or one centimeter and overall composure is very impressive. You have also rear spoiler on the boot with AMG line package. So it looks really, really great and I cannot wait to see it fully. So the interior gets the latest MBUX system, also all new steering wheel from the E-Class and S-Class. Central infotainment display, as you can see, vertical and dashboard unit display. The MBUX system with central display is used in the interior, which will come in nine inches as well as 11.9 inches, which you can see here. And only the larger display variant is the climate control integrated in the display, while a button bar below is maintained for driving modes, parking assistant, parking heater, or volume control, among other things. And here is also fingerprint sensor, which is already known from the new S-Class. And interior is shaped, so you have more room and also gained a little bit of room more inside so overall the interior feels a lot more roomier than previous generation we have 25 
mm more in the leg room and 13 mm more on the head room. However, the autonomous functions level 3 will not come for the C class at the moment. So in terms of the diesel variants, we'll have two diesel variants at the launch. Uh, 2.0 liter diesel engine OM654 C220D 200 horsepower with optional formatic system and the more powerful C300D with standard formatic 265 horsepower. So the new C-Class dish, the halogen headlights and the LED headlights are now standard. Then you can probably opt for the multi-LED headlights and the digital light will be the new technology for the C-Class, which we know already from the S-Class. So as you can see from the video, the headlights have now more sharper eyebrows with one LED dot. This now looks much more sportier and cohesive with other models in the lineup of the Mercedes. So let me know what you think about this design and um, we cannot wait to see it fully uncovered in less than two weeks. At the rear we can see hints of the horizontal tail lamps which are the new design unless of the vertical in the previous generation. And here we can see also similarities with E-Class in the LED design of the tail lamps. In the interior you can see also the new speakers for the Burmester sound system as well as for the seat controls, everything similar to the S-Class and also the new AMG line steering wheel and TG7 MBUX system. So guys that's it for this video, let me know what you think about the all new C-Class W206 generation, are you curious to see it? And let me know if you are planning to get one. And the AMG models will follow. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this new generation. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.